and welcome to the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm sure you're keen to get into that hot seat, so let's get started. OK, let's take a quick check on the rules. Up to four of you can play the game, and each of you will need to choose adult or junior questions. Then, for the first time ever, you'll be able to choose the type of questions you'd like to answer. There are three categories. General knowledge, entertainment and sport. Simply choose one and stick with it. All you need to do then is answer the 15 questions that stand between you and a virtual one million pounds. As always, you can walk away at any time and there are the usual three lifelines available to you. Ask the audience, 50-50 and phone a friend. If you make it all the way to a million, you could be jetting off on a luxurious family holiday by entering our competition. So grab your remote control and let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. Great, you're having a go at the entertainment questions. Fifteen of them stand between you and a virtual million pounds. The first five of those questions can bank you a guaranteed thousand pounds. Let's kick things off with a 100 pound question. Well done, that's a great start. A nice easy question for 200 pounds. Very good, that's right. Now, you've not used any lifelines, so they are still all available if you need them on this £300 question. Well done, you've won £300. Question number four is for 500 quid. That's right, well done. This is the last chance that you could leave us with absolutely nothing. Please don't do that. Here comes question number five. Well, that was the last chance you could leave with nothing. And you won't be. Well done. It's the right answer. That's what I like to see. Five correct answers and £1,000 safely in the bank. This is where things hot up a little bit, though, as we try and turn that £1,000 into at least 32000 Here comes question number six. Now, remember, you still have all three lifelines remaining. Is that your final answer? You had £1,000. You just won £2,000. It's the correct answer. Well played. Very well done. You've yet to touch any of your three lifelines, and a correct answer here will win you £4,000. Lots of luck. Here comes the question. A correct answer here is worth £4,000. And that's exactly what you have given me. It's the right answer. Well, I like games like this. You're on £4,000 and you have all three of your lifelines still intact. You are just three questions away from the next milestone. And the first of those questions is worth £8,000 and is coming up now. OK, you risk £3,000 and you were right to risk it. You now have £8,000. OK, things are getting a little bit more serious now. £16,000 is a lot of money. And that's how much you can win by giving me the right answer to question number nine. The drop, if you get this wrong, though, has gone up to 7000 So think carefully before you give me an answer. I have to ask you if that is your final answer. You had £8,000, you decided to play this question, and you'll be glad you did. It's the right answer. You just won £16,000. Well, a magnificent performance from you so far. Nine correct answers, and you've not yet had to use 
any of your three lifelines. If you can give me a tenth correct answer, you guarantee yourself £32,000. I must remind you, though, at this stage, if you do give me a wrong answer, you drop right back to 1000 Have a look at this question. Take your time. Tell me if you want to play. Are you sure you want to risk all that money? If this is right, you've won £32,000. It is right. You're assured of a big win. You can breathe a sigh of relief now. You will not be leaving with anything less than £32,000. And you might as well play the next question, as you now have nothing to lose. Get this right, and I'll be giving you 64,000. Have a look, here it comes. I know you have nothing to lose, but are you sure that is the answer you want to go with? You had 32,000 pounds, you had nothing to lose going for this question. As it turns out, you had everything to gain. It's the right answer. You just won 64,000 pounds. £125,000, it's a lot of money, and it's what I could be giving you if you can give me the right answer to the next question. You do stand to lose the £32,000 you have just won if you do give me a wrong answer, though, at this point. Here comes question number 12. Well, there's no going back from this point. You've given me your final answer. I'm ripping up your virtual check for £64,000 and replacing it with one for £125,000. It's the right answer. You could be about to lose £93,000. If you give me the wrong answer to this question, if you give me a correct answer, you'll win a quarter of a million pounds. Now, I would much rather that happen. The very best of luck to you. Let's have a look at question number 13 of a possible 15. You could be about to become a quarter of a millionaire. Or, of course, you could be about to lose £93,000. You've just given me... The right answer. Terrific. You could now go all the way. Well, things are still going very well indeed. You just keep giving me the right answer and I keep handing you bigger and bigger and bigger sums of money. I do have even more money that I could give you, starting with a virtual check for £500,000. But only if you can answer this next question. I must say, I love it when people play these big questions. You had £250,000. You now have... £500,000. Fantastic! Well, I'm not sure I've ever asked someone the million-pound question without them having already used up all of their lifelines. But you do now have a real chance to take out the million. And you might as well take advantage of the lifeline situation, even if you are sure you know the answer. Let's hope in just a few moments' time we will all be celebrating. Here comes your 15th and final question. In which city was Shane Ward, winner of the 2005 series of The X Factor, born? Birmingham, Manchester, Liverpool, Bristol. And I have to check that you are really going to play this question. Is this your final answer? Amazingly, you have decided to play the million pound question. Now, you could have walked away with half a million pounds, but instead, you are walking away with one million pounds.
You're a winner, fantastically well done. Not only have you won a million, you've also got the chance to enter a draw to win a fantastic, all expensive paid family holiday. Just text the winning code to the number on your screen. Very well done, and thanks for playing the Family Entertainment Edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?